Hey guys, what's up? It's Twenty Seven here, and today, oh today, today I'm back with another Call of Duty Black Ops Three gameplay, uh huh, multiplayer actually, just to let you know. And we're kicking it off with these videos. We're gonna try to get daily in. So let's get into the story. So today's story is about when I got chased by a wild boar. So I was at camp. I don't know where. I don't know why. I don't know when, actually it was about, it was last year, but I don't know when last year, but I don't know where we were exactly, but we were at this camp, alright, <coughs> and at this camp we had scheduled times, like, you could do like, you had free time from here to here, and then you had to do stuff from here to here, scheduled, and then you had free time here to here, and we had a lot of free time, alright, so me and my friend went actually, so it was that free time, and we had probably about three or four hours of free time, and, but you know, the thing was, you had to stay on the campsite, like, you couldn't leave the campsite, and, you know, we got, like, we were there for a week, and the first, like, the first days, we were, like, you know, having fun, doing stuff, they had a lot of stuff to do there, and, me and my friend kind of did it all within the first three days. And, you know, we were kind of bored of all this stuff. So we were just sitting there one day in our cabin. And we're just like, all right, well, what are we going to do? We're kind of bored and we have a lot of free time. So we're like, all right, why don't we just go explore in the woods? Maybe find some random crap. So, you know, of course, we had to sneak by all the, like, the leaders and stuff. So we snuck by all of them. And we make it break for the woods, all right? So we're in these woods, all right? And while we're in these woods, you know, we're just, like, kind of walking around, kind of bored, just kind of looking for random stuff. And there were two of us. And off in the distance, it was really quiet because we were that far away from the camp. Kind of heard, like, this loud noise. And we wanted to know what that noise was, of course, because we were, we were curious. So we walked towards the noise. So we walked about probably 10, 15 minutes towards the noise. The noise was getting louder and louder and louder and louder. And we're like, oh my gosh, what is it? We can't figure out what the noise was. Like, it was some weird noise. It was like a grunting almost. So we get close enough to where we understand that it's two animals having sex. Like, you could clearly hear that it was two animals having sex. And you could see the bush at where they were doing it. All right, so this bush was kind of like shaking, and I'm like, all right, I gotta go look at it. It was a really big bush too, and I'm like, all right, I gotta go look at it, because I'm like expecting to see like some two rabbits, you know, doing it, because like rabbits are like really loud, and it was like a really loud noise, like it was like a, re I'm not gonna demonstrate it. It was like a really loud like moan. So me and my friend, well actually, I kind of walked up because he wouldn't do it. He was like, no, you do it, you do it. I'm afraid, no, you do it. So I'm tiptoe and trying not to step on any sticks or any leaves, and I get up to the bush, and I kind of kneel down, and I don't see anything. So I'm like, what the heck, this bush isn't making the noise of, you know? So I walk out behind the bush, and there, I don't know what they're called. Are they called pigs? It was a wild pig, but I think they're called boars. In there, I just see a pig, balls deep, in this other pig, and it just stopped. It just stopped and stared at me. It was the awkwardest moment of my life. I just walked in on two pigs having sex, and it was just staring at me. And it grunts, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get killed by this freaking pig. So I turn around, my friend's like, what is it, what is it, what is it? And I'm just like, run, 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 run. So we just start booking it. We're just booking it down these woods. And, you know, after, like, 10 seconds of just full-out sprint, and my friend not knowing what the heck is up, I'm like, a pig, a pig, a pig, a wild pig. And he's like, what, it was a pig? I'm like, yeah. And I just turn around, and I just see this pink little thing flying at me. This thing was picking up speed. This thing was freaking fast. I didn't expect the pig to outrun me, but it freaking did. So me and my friend are running, and this pig is just slow, not slowly, but rapidly gaining up on us. So we're thinking, what the, heck are, what, what the heck are we gonna do? So we get to this point where we kind of have to jump over, like, this, like, it was kind of like a crevice. So we jump over this crevice, and they're like, there's no way that pig's jumping that far. So I jump over, we run it far enough to where we can still see the crevice and still get ahead of it, in case it did. And this pig, just full of sprints, jumps over it. It jumped 
over the crevice that we could barely jump over. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, we are dead. We are dead. This thing was freaking pounding it. This thing was pushing like 400 pounds and was running at about 25 miles per hour. I am not lying. So this pink fat thing's flying at me, all right? And I'm thinking, what the heck is it going to do? Is it going to like kill me? What the heck is it going to do? Because obviously it was chasing after us. Like it was directly going after us. Like we were swerving and stuff and it was following us. And as it got closer, you could hear like a, uh, uh, like a, a really mean grunting noise. And I'm thinking, holy crap, we're going to like just get destroyed and probably raped by a freaking pig. So we're running, we're running, we're running. I'm like, okay, we can't be loud. We can't scream. We can't let them know that we left the, the camp. So we find this tree. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. We're going to climb this tree because there's no way a pig is climbing a tree. So we get to the a tree where we can actually reach the branch. And we jump up on the branch. And we're hanging there. We're going to do a pull, like, pull ourselves up. I get up, all right? I get up, and I can kind of tell the branch is a little flimsy. And my friend jumps on it. And the pig's still gaining on us. Don't forget. My friend jumps on it. And it snaps. The branches snap. My friend falls to the ground. He's like, oh, crap. I'm up in the tree, and I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm not leaving you in the dust. I jump down from the tree because, you know, I didn't want to just watch them from a tree my friend get anally raped. So me and my friend start running again, and this thing is so close to us, like probably 10 yards, maybe. Like, maybe it was that far. Like, it was really, really close. And we just see this tree, two of them, where we could both get in. I'm like, are you getting that one? You get I get in this one. So we run, Tarzan it up that freaking tree. That was the fastest I've ever climbed a tree. And we're just climbing, we climbing. I didn't stop climbing. I went all the way to the top because I wasn't risking anything. And this pig got up on the tree, like, on its back legs. And it was just, like, growling at me and my friend. It was just growling, just huffing and puffing. And, like, it was, like, almost yelling. Like, it was grunting and growling. And, oh, I was just freaking scared as crap. And... You know, I'm just sitting there in this tree, and this pig's staring at me and my friend, and at this point, I'm just like, I just start laughing, because, you know, that was hysterical. That was amazing. Like, we just got chased, like, three football fields by this freaking pig that just, I was having sex. It, well, I, I didn't even know pigs had sex. Well, anyways, we waited for about 20 minutes for it to go away, and it, like, it was try it was legit trying to play us. Like, it would start walking away, and it would just, like, like, go off in the distance, kind of, and, like, stare at us, and, like, I would start to go down a branch, and it would just start bolting back at us, like, it was waiting for us to get down, and, you know, we were gonna wait there all night if we had to, but eventually, it went far enough, and when we got down, we started sprinting, and it was out of sight, and we sprinted back, and, you know, like, as we got back on the campsite, they're like, what the heck, where were you? I'm like, oh, we were just, you know, in the gym or something, and, like, oh, we couldn't find you. I'm like, yeah, and we couldn't tell any of our friends what happened was the problem because we would get in trouble. So we had to hold that story in for three more days until we got home. And that was probably one of the scariest, funnest, craziest things I've ever done. Now, if I, I'm not going to lie, if I were like overweight, I would have probably been killed by a pig. I don't know how a pig would kill you. I don't know what it was trying to do to us. I don't know if it was trying to have sex with us or if it was trying to kill us. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I hope you had a good time watching this video. I had a good time making it. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye. When, like, he wanted to go say bye to her or something. Of course, agree to go back to the game.